Hey there, and welcome to my channel, The Paper Bag Investor. Today's video, I want to talk about my recent purchase of Dogecoin. <laughs> Hear me out. I want to talk about what Dogecoin is, why I bought Dogecoin, and actually want to share why you could argue that Dogecoin could be a good investment going forward. Most people think Dogecoin is simply a joke, and in many ways it is. But please stick around to the end of the video as I'm going to be sort of sharing my thoughts and rationale for why I think Dogecoin could actually keep rising in value. So let's get into it. Before we go any further, I just want to be absolutely clear. I'm not a personal financial advisor, just a guy with a paper bag on his head who loves investing and thinking about the future. If you love investing, you love thinking about the future, you love most of my videos and my portfolio is on long-term high growth investing. Uh, if you love that kind of investing, that kind of thinking, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button to my channel and follow along with my channel as it grows. Okay, so for today's video and today's topic, first off, what is Dogecoin? So Dogecoin, it's a cryptocurrency that runs on blockchain. And you might be thinking, well, what is blockchain? What is blockchain, you ask? Blockchain, blockchain technology is most simply described as a decentralized distributed ledger that records the provenance of a digital asset. So it's a way to completely, perfectly, securely describe who owns a digital asset and who, how to, if that tra asset is transacted back and forth, how that transaction happens and who takes ownership of it. So it's a completely secure way to have a ledger of who owned what. And Dogecoin specifically was started in 2013 mostly as a joke, but has caught on as a viable cryptocurrency, especially recently or in recent years. It's similar to Bitcoin, uh, it has some key differences, uh, but it is similar to Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So why did I buy Dogecoin? To be clear, I only bought a very, very small amount of Dogecoin, literally $100 worth of Dogecoin on Saturday. And I really bought it for three main reasons. Number one, I wanted to learn more about the crypto asset world. I don't own, I haven't, haven't bought any cryptocurrency, any sort of crypto blockchain assets, but I wanted to learn more about that world. And I feel like the best way to learn something is just to try it, even if it's a really tiny scale. Just get your hands in there, get your hands dirty, and actually try the thing and the actual mechanics and operation of it and see how it works so i wanted to try it and learn something number two i bought it because <laughs> frankly i just think it's hilarious i think the dogecoin memes are funny and they make me laugh so if i can if i take a tiny bit of ownership in those dogecoin memes <laughs> not the actual memes themselves but the coins behind the memes to me that make that makes me laugh and i just think it's funny Number three, I bought it because while I acknowledge it's highly speculative, uh, which is why I would definitely not invest heavily uh, into it myself, but I do honestly think it could be a good investment and might turn out to be a great investment over time. And that leads me to my next point and what next thing I want to talk about, which is why you could argue that Dogecoin is actually a good investment and not just a joke, not just a pump and dump, but actually a good investment. So. I'm not sure if myself, I'm not sure if crypto assets, and I'm not a cryptocurrency expert by any means, uh, I, I'm not sure if they'll actually catch on as a day-to-day -day currency. It seems likely that they could, but I'm not sure about that. For example, I don't know if Bitcoin will necessarily catch on as a day-to-day uh, -day can transact a currency. Maybe it'll just be kind of a more like gold that's sort of a store of value in crypto uh, Bitcoin, and then maybe other cryptocurrencies will be exchanged day-to-day. -day. But um, what I am quite sure of, though, is that crypto assets are here to stay and will likely continue to rise in popularity and value. I want to encourage you is what I've been thinking about is think about crypto assets that run on blockchain, not as sort of currencies themselves, but more as pieces of art or pieces of stored energy or value. For example, think about baseball cards in their fundamental sense. They're really just pieces of paper that are completely useless to everyday life. It's just a baseball card, just a little piece of cardboard or paper, right? 
It really, you know, can't feed you, can't clothe you, can't keep you warm, can't do anything like that. But they hold a lot of stored value simply because the market and interest in them is there to back them, so they become valuable and rise in value, uh, especially if they're more unique and more desired. This little piece of paper rises in value. The same way value stored in baseball cards is now being done digitally through blockchain. So <clears throat> a good example of this I came across just recently, I had no idea about. It's really interesting though, NBA has introduced something called the NBA Top Shot. And the NBA Top Shot is a digital asset for NBA fans and collectors. They, they are digital highlights of NBA plays that are each individually encrypted and can be bought or sold on the on a blockchain. And so, and some of these NBA top shots are being listed for lots of money. Uh, even there's one being listed I came across here that's listed for a hundred thousand dollars. So in, in a same in a way, people that are interested uh, in this will store value into these top shot things. Exactly the same way we store value into baseball cards. People are now into these. They own this such and such exact top shot with this encrypted code behind it. And they could sell it to somebody else and then that person would own it. And so in the same way people are storing value in other, in other crypto assets like Dogecoin. And so when you look at Dogecoin that way, I think Dogecoin could continue to rise in value. And I've identified three key reasons why. Number one, it's funny. It's really, really funny. Of all the digital crypto assets out there, it is by far the funniest. And it spreads very quickly because it's so funny and there's so many memes that are created around um, the, the crypto, the, the dog's head, right, and face. So the branding behind it is extremely powerful. The second reason why I think Dogecoin could keep rising in value as a stored value is Elon Musk. Elon Musk obviously uh, thinks that Dogecoin is very funny and t because he tweets about it every once in a while, kind of in a burst of tweets. And Elon's always had a sense of humor and really not been afraid to display that humor even, you know, to the whole world. <clears throat> and as influential as Elon is now, he's kind of right at the, sort of the, with Jeff Bezos near the top of sort of most the richest person in the world. I think it's very likely that he'll become even much more influential going forward in the decades ahead and the potential Yes, he has the potential to be the world's first trillionaire. In my mind, he's the most likely candidate of a person who could become a trillionaire in the world. And with Elon on board with Dogecoin, I think it's just this funny, ridiculous cryptocurrency that he tweets about, and other celebrities starting to come on board with it as well and follow along, this increases the tension to the coin and helps generate interest and drive uh, people to push value into that asset class. The third reason I want to say why Dogecoin could keep rising in value is because Dogecoin has limited inflation. So some cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin have no inflation because they have a fixed maximum amount of coins that will ever be created or in circulation. But Dogecoin has a built-in inflation of 5 billion coins per year. As a percentage of the total coins, this this 5 billion coins that's added, um, this amount of inflation will decrease over time as the overall number of coins increases. So, I mean, right now, currently, there's about 113 billion coins in circulation. Obviously, as that grows, your 5 billion is a smaller and smaller percentage. But one could argue that this inflation uh, decreases the value of the coins, which is true. Really, it does. You're adding more coins to the pool. But you could also argue that having this inflation could be a good thing because it it, um, it actually encourages people to use a coin rather than Bitcoin where users are encouraged to hold on to the coin. And if you go back to sort of my baseball card analogy, Bitcoin is kind of like a fixed amount of baseball cards that are collected and held. Uh, and Dogecoin is more like a baseball card system that supplies a fixed amount uh, each year of new cards to the pool which you could argue would actually help increase the spread and the exposure and the interest in the cards because people might actually use them more freely and give them away or pay with them in exchange for goods or services. So <clears throat> those are kind of my thoughts on Dogecoin and why I bought a tiny tiny little you know portion or, or um, 
investment into Dogecoin and why I think it actually, though, could be a good investment for me over time. At the end of the day, I want to be clear, I would much rather hold companies that create irrefutable value in the world rather than having uh, asset classes like crypt like um, crypto assets or gold in my portfolio but specifically uh, crypto assets this crypto asset niche is something I'm finding interesting and am learning more about which is partly again why I bought Dogecoin I'm wondering about you guys, what did you think of this video? Do you own any cryptocurrencies, any crypto assets of any kind? If so, let us know in the comments down below what they are, why you bought them. Uh, if you got value out of this video, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button and follow along with my channel and most of my contents on uh, investments, companies, and stocks that I think are going to have huge potential over time, high growth stocks over the long term horizon. It's really my investing philosophy to find those really gem companies and invest big. But so if that interests you, I encourage you to hit that subscribe button. If you really got value out of this video and you want to um, share it with somebody else, I encourage you to do that as well. That helps me grow. And while you're at it, hit that thumbs up. Really appreciate that. Appreciate your guys' support. So I'll see you in my next video. And remember, it's in the bag. Cheers. Cheers.